funny bone, you hit my funny bone. Is your head okay? Jeez, your skull is hard. <laughs> Man, I'm stuck. Dude, do you want a pillow or do you want to just sit on my lap? Okay. Thank you, again. Come up, come up here, look, we're recording. We don't have all day. Okay, sit your ass down, boy. Hi guys, we're back with another Rest in peace, my rest in peace, my patience. Hey, shut up over there. I said, shut up over there. <laughs> we can do this, you guys. Are you not gonna film this intro with me then? Part is right here. He's just on high alert. Welcome, welcome back to a. Cut, take, six, seven. I don't know if you guys can hear the noise outside, but we gotta get we gotta get this going. So I'm gonna try and talk a little louder, even though my voice is not fully with me after just massive, massive amounts of filming. Anyway, I'm back. Welcome to another week of plant to do's. The last week of plant to do's was. It was almost three hours long. Uh, congratulations if you made it through the whole thing. It took me like a week to edit it, which is not my norm. I can usually like film and edit within two days and move on with my life. But that was, yeah, I was honestly, a part of me was trying to hit three hours long just to, just to see on my channel that I have a three hour long video and people can be like, what the hell is wrong with this chick? But I couldn't do it. There wasn't enough footage and obviously I wasn't gonna just bullshit a bunch of footage just to like make it three hours long but i think one day we'll get there honestly it's just a matter of time three four five hours who knows um but i don't think this one's gonna be as long although this week of plant to do's is gonna be a little bit more i don't want to say action-packed my life is not action-packed trust me but like i'm gonna see plant friends this weekend i'm going to north shore tropicals and that's it. <laughs> no, I have a lot of stuff to do around the house. Um, there's, I mean, I feel like I'm finally getting like in a good place with a lot of my plants. Um, the spider mite and thrip situation is like, I wanna say 80% revolved, revolved, <laughs> resolved. And it feels so good, honestly. It feels so good to make it through that without once breaking down, without really panicking and just just kind of cruising through it and yeah I feel like I just want to try and normalize in this plant community how common it is to get pests and how it's honestly going to always be a part of this hobby it's like I I just expect it every year yeah <laughs> it's a net so I made it through that. It's been a long few months of just treatments and more treatments and more treatments and more treatments, but I'm feeling really good. I just, my goal was to kind of get things under control by the time I leave for California, which is maybe in about a month or two. I, I'm, we don't really have dates yet. We're also going to go to Alberta and we're just kind of trying to align our work schedules with these trips coming up so um yeah i have a few weeks to kind of get the rest of the collection under control and make sure that everyone that needs to be urgently repotted has been repotted so that's been the goals really of these um plant week to do's because i feel like extra motivated to do things because i know that you guys really love the long videos and not that i'm trying to like fit a criteria or fit a mold or like a like a format for these series. It's kind of become a thing now where I sort of expect myself to at least publish an hour and a half long video uh, for the week of. So yeah, I mean, as much as it sucks to have to like get ready every day and honestly film every day, I just, when I reflect back, I get so much done and like, yeah, you guys definitely help motivate me to. To get my shit in order that was uh, a reminder to contact my credit card company because last night i think something was going on with doordash 
like Canada wide. Um, just sorry, quick, this is the longest intro ever. Oh my gosh, I've been recording for eight minutes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, so last night I tried to order Thai food, right? And I was trying to order, trying to order, I was checking out and it just kept saying error, error, error. I pressed that thing like five times. I tried to like submit the order five times. All of them got declined. It says it was a payment issue. And I was like, am I that poor? So I go on my credit card thing, thing with your mobile banking. And I'm like, no, there's no way. Like girl, my credit, I don't have great credit, but I'm definitely not ever like maxing out stuff. Like I know where I stand with my credit card. So I'm like, this can't be right. So uh, yeah, I go on my credit card. I see that they charge me five times. So I paid like $150 for meals that I did not receive and then so I was like whatever we ordered pizza instead and that arrived fine but yeah now I have five charges for this Thai place that I need to dispute even though I did order it but it just it never came anywho um this intro has been way too long um today is Friday it is a great Friday I've had a pretty amazing mental health week with a few sort of hiccups here and there but um just overall generally doing much better than the last week of plant to do's the weather has been so nice and I just feel, I feel good. So today is a very, very, very busy day. I am going to be filming another YouTube video, but after I film this video, I'm gonna have a lot of vessels to clean. I'm gonna have a lot of substrate to clean. And I already have piles and piles and piles of pond that need to be repotted, not repotted, pond that needs to be repotted, pond that needs to be sterilized. Um, from the video that I did with my rehab and theriums. I've just got so much washing and sterilizing to do today. So that's what I'll be doing in today's week of. We're just gonna kind of get reset. I'm gonna get all my vessels cleaned. I wanna prepare this new batch of pawn so that this week we can do a ton of repotting and we can do a ton of rehabbing and whatever needs to be done. So with that said, my gosh, I've been recording for 11 minutes. Let's just get started. I'm gonna film my video and then I will meet you in the kitchen and we will start doing the chore that I hate doing the most in this whole world. So anyway, welcome back to a week of, hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> Pudge has been such a cranky butt to me today. I don't know what it is. Um, don't mind. Wait. I just finished filming that video and it was up and exhausting it was a lot of repotting it was a lot of mess and now i need to spend another few hours sterilizing pond cleaning substrates cleaning my kitchen guys look at this i can't even believe i'm about to show you this right now look at all of the overflow recycling that we have not taken out not only have my husband and i managed to put off grocery shopping for like a week and a half and have just been ordering way too much takeout and just finding scraps around the house. <laughs> we've just been, we've just been kind of lazy to be honest. This is one of the reasons why we don't have kids because there's no way that I could find the willpower to cook for children and to make sure the house is clean all the time. Like I'm just, we're a mess. We are a hot mess. And I think we've been very responsible to not bring children into this world for that reason. But you know, time's ticking. I've also been out of coffee. So I've been drinking Earl Grey tea. That is not strained very well. And it's like going in my throat. But yeah, I'm just trying to power up for this next few hours of filming and just straight up work. I'm also doing laundry right now. And like Fridays and Sundays are my days of just getting my life back in order. I don't usually film this much on Friday because yeah, like I said, Friday's laundry day. Friday is the day that I make sure that the trash and everything goes out. Um, but yeah, I just, I've been filming like crazy and I'm I'm actually making a dent in my schedule. It's just whenever I think that I'm ahead, it like creeps up on me and I'm like, oh no, I only have like two videos in the queue now, whereas before I had six, cause I get a little too lax where I'm like, oh, I have so much in the bank, I can chill out. So I'm just trying to keep like a good steady pace. Um, so sometimes it does require me to film two, videos in a day. I did film three videos in a day a few days ago. Never again. Never again. That was that was that was terrible. But uh 
yeah um so over the this next part i'm honestly not going to be chatting i'm not going to be talking because the last thing i want to do is chit chat while i'm doing my least favorite chore so um i will just kind of give you sort of a far away view of me just running around the kitchen cleaning it's gonna be a lot of boring just me at the sink and you see vessels piling up i will give you a I will give you a closer look um, in the stove area or at the stove area once I start uh, cleaning my lechuza pond. Just, I don't know, give you something else to look at. But yeah, it's just going to be a lot of time lapsing and I feel like it's kind of nice to have parts where you, you don't really need to pay a lot of attention. You just kind of know I'm doing something and you guys can be doing your own plant chores too. So yeah. I guess it's now or never. What time is it? I'm fading fast. Oh no. I'm just talking so that I don't have to work. So let's just get this done.
I am exhausted and I'm not even done. Um, I did finish washing all the vessels, which is really good, but I still have to sterilize the perlite. Um, you guys would have seen that I threw up some blurbs about what the process was, but yeah, it's just a lot easier for me to sterilize the pond and the perlite separately because you saw how um, that perlite just floats to the top and kind of blocks everything. So um, if I have any energy after tomorrow's event, I will finish up what I was doing. If not, I will finish it up on Sunday. But for now, I'm going to get out of here. I, oh gosh, I'm sweaty. I'm tired. I need to redo my manicure before tomorrow. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to finish laundry. Um, I need to take a shower. Like, it's a disaster. It's all a big freaking disaster. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, the next time you see me, I will probably either be in the car with Alice or at North Shore. Um, but either way, tomorrow should be a fun time. Probably going to be an exhausting day, but um, good nonetheless. I haven't seen Alice in quite quite a bit so um yeah anyway good first day but we got a long week ahead so i'll see you tomorrow morning everyone happy saturday i am exhausted i was um editing until 3 a.m didn't get to bed till about 3 30 and yeah i'm tired but i am in a good mood because it's super sunny today it's warm it's gonna be like i think at the hottest it's gonna be like 80 fahrenheit i don't know what that is in celsius sorry guys i'm just on my way to alice's house right now and we are gonna head over to lauren's together i'm not quite sure if we're gonna do our car talks today um I know Alice has kind of gone through a little bit of a rough patch. She's just really stressed with work. I don't think she'll really be up for vlogging and I kind of just want to catch up with her and see what's going on because I haven't really um, seen her seen her in a while. Like she came by once to drop something off, but um, that was about it. So anywho, yeah, we are aiming to be at Lauren's around 10. 30. I think that the plants are being cleared right now. Um, apparently they were supposed to land at 10. The event starts at 12. So we're just going to get there a bit earlier to see what we can film and um, obviously help Lauren out a bit. And maybe, um, I don't know if the tropicals plants, aka the Equiflora team will need any help, but yeah, we'll be there regardless. So yeah. I'm excited to see what they bring. Hopefully the plants are in okay condition. I'm sure they will be, but yeah, there was a little bit of a delay. They were stuck in Panama, I believe, for a little bit, and Lauren thought she might have to postpone the event. Luckily, it got to Canada in time. I don't know if I'll be getting anything, to be honest. Like, I really should not be spending money right now. Like, I'm, I don't know, I really shouldn't be. Like, I've been doing so well at like, paying things down and um just being in a better place financially so i just want kind of want to keep that going but who really knows uh if anything maybe i'll limit myself to one plant that's what i say but yeah anyway i'm almost here alice doesn't like people knowing where she lives so i don't want to give too much away in the background so yeah gotta go see you at lauren's
Do you want a photo of your hands in the mandula? <laughs> What your big instincts? What? Oh my god, big instincts. My big instincts are sweet. Oh. Oh my gosh. Like I just yelled that out loud. Everyone, everyone. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I look so haggard and disgusting. I look like I've been working. I was working. Yeah, you were working. I was just walking around with my hands behind my back. Da -da -da. <laughs> like, they are still here. <laughs> Man, that's so cute. Uh, she is the most adorable human yeah. being ever it's hilarious. to grace this planet. I'm so damn excited to go home. I'm actually excited to just yeah, take a nap and then go clean. I want a clean apartment for next week because next week's gonna be a stressful week for me. I cannot have a messy apartment. Yeah. I just can't. I, like to, I love cleaning on Sundays. Those, yeah, that's why I was like on my schedule. Day off, meaning mm. clean all day. Yeah. Is there anything you don't like to clean? Yeah, the stove and the oven. Oh, yeah. Well, how often do you clean your oven? I clean it like max once a year. Yeah. Uh, ever since I've lived at the apartment, I've cleaned it once. Okay. So I've been That's there normal. for two and a half years now. It's so cute. It's a little baby. So cute. Maybe I should just grow it for a little bit. No, I've seen her tomorrow, so I'm just give it to her. She's gonna be scared. I know. Maybe she should just leave it lost. The thing is, like the. Her ace mag seedlings she moved I think she moved them because they weren't growing in moss and that's the reason why I moved mine to pond too yeah mine reason. mine were not doing crap in moss they were staying so dinky and tiny mm -hmm. that's why I moved it to soil 
And that was drying up so dang fast. So pond's the best. Pond right? pond is the best. Um, tree fern fiber actually makes it have a really really nice root, but the size growth is not as robust as soil and pond. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, my seedlings are still in moss though, like the ones that I pollinated. Oh, I'm yeah. surprised about that. I need to take care of those. Just don't have time. I feel like you haven't done a repot video in a long time. I know, cause like those end up taking the longest to edit, so I'm like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. And I've been doing so much repotting off camera. Alice. Yeah. It's like prime content. I know. I just like. It's the cleanup the for me. I don't care about editing. It's the freaking cleanup. Oh, for me, it's the editing. Like, and then my lazy way is just to time lapse it <laughs> and like not talk. Cause like, I think editing myself and what I say is the thing I hate the most about edi um, editing. I feel like you'll get better at it though. Cause I feel like it was, I kind of had that same experience too in my first few months. And then now I'm just like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I hate how I talk. Why? It's so normal. You're so weird. I think I stutter too much. And I don't hear it while, as I'm stuttering, and then I hear it when I'm editing. There's so many mosquito bites. Raise your hand if you've ever heard Alice stutter, because I haven't. <laughs> stutter and like mumble and like trip over my words. Well, I do that a lot. <sighs> don't die yet. You can die when you get home. <laughs> oh no! I forgot it. What? My treats. I had watermelon treats. Sour watermelon oh. treats. Damn you, Sherman! I bought caramel corn yesterday. Caramel corn. Caramel popcorn. Oh, popcorn! So freaking good. I'm getting my period soon, so I bought chocolate covered pretzels, caramel popcorn, so many sugars, Dorito hot Cheetos, um, the watermelon sour gummies. I got Oreos. What else? Did Classic I get? Oreos? Yeah. Insanely hot. to give you guys an update before I got home because I don't plan on filming um, but yeah just on the way back from North Shore I am so tired I look nasty it was hot today which was awesome but also <laughs> excruciating at the same time but I yeah, I'm gonna take a day off tomorrow. Um, I think I've decided that every Sunday, even if I'm filming week ofs, are just gonna be my day where I don't do any work at all. My apartment, the state my apartment is in, is probably the worst it's been in like a long time. And I have a crazy week next week with filming and then also with um, some projects that I need to start for a client with an insane deadline. So I just want the house to be like snatched. Like I want it to be like spick and span, like not, not nothing out of place. Because I feel like if I go into next week with my apartment in the state that it's in, I'm just gonna be in a foul mood. So uh, yeah, on Monday we'll pick back up on week of and I'll show you the stuff that I got from North Shore Tropicals. So that's the update. Um, 
it's funny that I give you guys these updates like oh you're not gonna see me tomorrow and then it like cuts and then it goes straight to the next scene so it's just funny because it's a totally different experience when I'm actually filming it um, but yeah uh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my weekend it's gonna be a really really nice weekend so I'm looking forward to not having to film till Monday but we've got a busy day Monday so I guess I will see you then Hi Pudge, this is what he does every single morning when I'm like preparing my husband's breakfast stuff and whatever, he sits right there and he just waits and waits until it's time for him to have his breakfast and he's just so quiet, such a good boy and oh, he's just such an angel. I don't even know what I did to deserve you buddy, oh no. The rockets coming out. Um, oh, do you want to say hi to your friends? Say happy Monday, everyone. So we, hold on, babe. We are going to just do a few things this morning. I'm gonna take him out a little bit earlier than normal because it's gonna be very hot today, and I don't want him to burn his little paws on the pavement. So. We're going to just have a slow morning and then we will jump right into plant stuff. Smells like Fritos. Oh. oh. We've just had a day. A long day. I have been editing all day. I finished I finished one video. It's currently uploading onto YouTube right now. So I'm feeling really good. I'm about three weeks ahead now. And yeah, it's just I haven't been this far ahead pretty much since I started YouTube. So it feels feels pretty good um but the plant room is a bloody mess like you can kind of see the chaos behind me i have kind of a lot to do i do have a meeting scheduled for tonight we don't have a specific time yet but um i just i don't know I'm kind of anxious for that so before my meeting tonight i'm just gonna get the plant room cleaned up if i have time i might do a repot because I do have some things that I need to address badly. Uh, let me just let me just kind of show you what's going on over here, and also and also show you what I got from North Shore Tropicals. Can I put you down now? You don't want to go down, but how can I hold the plant and have you on my lap at the same time? I don't think I can. Can I have a kiss? I think that was a no. All right, so here's one thing I need to get potted up is this philodendron narrow that I got from Jing. I used to have one of these before. I got rid of it because it was just plagued by extra floral nectaries and I just couldn't keep it happy. So I'm gonna try again. Um, this was one of the first um, plants that I fell in love with when it was being sold in our stores. I just thought it was so fun. 
Um, if you guys follow this channel, you know that I love the caramel marble, so this is the closest that I'm ever going to get to it. Although they did just start it, they did just start selling Ring of Fires locally for like nine dollars, which is crazy. So I think eventually I'll try and get my hands on one of those because I have been wanting one for a while. I just wasn't willing to pay the price that they've been. What is under here? Um, something else that I need to repot. Oh. Um, oh, let me show you another thing that's needed a repot for a while. Have you ever seen such a sad and pathetic looking philodendron El Choco Red? Because I haven't. So this is one of Nick's plants that I've been caring for. It had thrips and then we got rid of it and then it got spider mites, which it still has, which is why it's not near any of my plants right now. But it's just needed a repot for a it's just it's just needed a repot for a long time like look at this stem there's so much of that like husky sheath on it i was actually gonna repot this in a totally like separate video like just do a whole like el choco red repot because there were so many other leaves on it it was like this it was a whole thing it it's bad it's so bad so bad but then the leaves started dying off so yeah i was like okay maybe not but um i did want to save it for this month's week of so that's something i have to do this month um i have two plants that i need to sell that are in very bad looking condition that i want to get spruced up but i did get a few things from north from north shore tropicals i can't remember if i've mentioned this already but i didn't end up buying anything from um, Tropicals Plants, Equiflora, because of the fact the boxes were delayed and I wasn't able to get there on Sunday when the rest of them showed up. Oh yeah, update, all the boxes showed up, um, Christ averted, but yeah, it was just too bad for the people who came on Saturday, like myself, who weren't able to see what actually came in. So anyway, let me show you what I got. The first one is this nasty, disgusting, scum of the earth ancient dumpster Hoya that Lauren gave me. I think it's like a Hoya undulata something. I'm not quite sure. I think that she didn't have an ID when she got this one in. And uh, it was a brand new import when I saw it at the shop. And I was like, what is this? I need one. And she's like, well, I don't want to give you one yet because I don't know if they're alive because like, look at this leaf. It looks dyed. Um, so she's like, let me wait and see if it roots. Let me make sure it doesn't die right away. Um, and then, yeah, like once I feel like they're showing signs of life, then I'll give one to you. I mean, I don't know if it's just the scumminess of it, but like there's like little yellow spots. I'm, I'm not quite sure if it's happy. I don't think she quite knows if it's happy, <laughs> um, which is why she hasn't had these for sale. But um, I told her I wanted one and she... Put one aside for me so um thank you lauren for this beautiful gift i love it so much it's gonna look so amazing in my hoya cabinet but i think i do want to get it out of moss i can see some i can see some new roots happening um i just don't want this to be a plant that gets really root bound in here i hate wrestling with hoya roots in moss it has to be like one of the worst things ever um the next thing are two little gifts from her as well one day she oh no oh no oh no okay well definitely have to repot this one now ow that's sharp one day she texted me she's like do you have a hoya rotunda flora and i was like no no i don't and then i showed up at the shop and she was like this is for you and i love it it's so fuzzy i kind of feel like this is a great replacement almost for my for my serpents that recently died is it dead where is it what the heck oh it's right there still not dead but yeah it's kind of like a long string bean looking hoya serpents it doesn't feel fuzzy but there is fuzz on it i don't know if you guys can tell um it's got little little tiny peach fuzz but it's not fuzzy to the touch it's not exactly like a serpent's because a serpent's does feel fuzzy, but 
These are just so cute and I'm so happy to have another sort of long traily Hoya in the cabinet because I did want to add more stuff to the wall. I am starting to get things trellised but I don't think that this is one that I would actually enjoy on a trellis. I think I much prefer it as a trailing Hoya. So this is one that I will for sure get on the wall and we'll see kind of how wild and crazy it grows but yeah this thing's got like there's like three plants in here or something or like two plants with like three growth points each it's so freaking bushy the last plant she gave me i completely freaking mangled jeez louise i completely uprooted this thing in moss so this is some kind of Deschidia and she knows that I love plants like this and I also think this is going to make a great addition to the plant cabinet. Again, not one that I think I would enjoy trellised, but I mean it does look kind of cute like if it was like half trellised and half trailing. I mean we'll see. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm pretty open to the idea now of trellising plants that I otherwise would have always wanted to be a trailing plant but i still i think i still much prefer a trailer but yeah it would be kind of interesting to see if i got it into an, an if i got into a nicer pot and then had like the trellis going upward but then just had a few of the strands kind of hanging off and then it's just like hanging on the red stuff that might be kind of cool so yeah thank you so much lauren for these plants i love them so much um my Redsta cabinet video is slowly but surely coming together. Next payday, I am going to try and see if I can buy a few Hoyas from Jing because I do want to fill it in a bit. And um, I said that I didn't want to just add random plants to my to my Redsta, but Jing has Hoyas that I really like. So that's just, you know, that kind of solves that problem. The last thing I grabbed from her was another can of this Spider Mite Knockout Spray. I do not know where this spray has been my entire life, but I am just, I'm never going to be without this now, especially during the warmer season when spider mites run rampant through my apartment. I feel like my spider mite situation has significantly reduced in a very short amount of time since the use of this spray. I also have been using predatory mites. So far, I'm not seeing any uh, bad interaction between this spray and my mites because I have mites everywhere, especially in my tent. Where it's hot and humid, they just hatch like crazy and they're, all, they're crawling all over the place and my spider mite situation is pretty much completely resolved in my tent which is amazing but yeah I've been using the two together and I, I don't know if maybe it's killing off some of the, the mite but I still have a significant amount throughout my collection so yeah so far so good I'm really happy that Lauren, oh, I'm so itchy I'm glad that Lauren suggested this to me and I, I've just had to grab another bottle because again maybe like 20% of my collection still has a little bit of spider mites or like recurring spider mites so I just want to make sure that I have some on hand for um, when I need to treat again. Uh, I don't know if I, I, I kind of wanted to wait until I did like a dedicated video but Again, I try and sprinkle in some goodies for people that watch these super freaking long videos. So do you guys remember um, in the... Ugh, now wait, hold on. I have to think about if this video is going up before week of. Yeah, okay, so if you guys watch my video where it's like plants I don't show very often, I would have shown an Ethereum hybrid that I was seeing online being circulated as like a Warroquian and Pappy hybrid. So I just very, very quickly, I mentioned I got this from Alice and I didn't really love the plant, but I was so, for some reason, I was just so curious to see how it would turn out to be in like its full mature form if I could ever grow it that big and I kind of just wanted to see it through so it's one of those plants that I don't really really love but just have in my collection just to like observe so here's that plant in that video 
um, a new leaf was emerging, but it was still a little taquito, so you couldn't see it. I'm gonna try to not show you the new leaf right away. So I was showing you how the leaves all looked like this, kind of, I don't know, unsuspecting. I said that it kind of reminded me of a Mad Verde. All of the leaves in my care since I've had it have looked exactly like this. And I did mention, I felt like this was not its mature form. I felt like it still had a lot of like evolving to do. And like, you'll notice this sinus, it's like nice and tight. But look at this new leaf. Look at this sinus, it's huge. Like it's so wide. Like that's a, that's a pappy hybrid if I've ever seen one. So. <laughs> I'm just so like reassured in my decision to have held on to this thing for so long despite wanting to kind of get rid of it. I just felt in my bones there was something good to wait for. So yeah, it's just so incredible how it was such like a vast, it was such like a quick sort of evolvement of the plant. Like it went from this straight to that. Like these look like two totally different plants. Insane. It's insane. And I feel like this is gonna be a good sized leaf, but this is, this is so beautiful. I like was so stunned that this was what showed up. Like I kind of figured, yeah, it's probably a pappy hybrid, although I didn't really see that much pappy in it, but it was like, hold on, hold my beer. Let me show you, I'm coming. So yeah, that's really exciting. Another thing that is very exciting is uh, this new crystal leaf is huge. This was, that plant that um, pushed out like a million bajillion growth points and I can't remember if I showed it in this video or if I was thinking of my Instagram stories but yeah this new leaf it's pretty much hardened off now like it's, I don't think it's gonna grow any more than this but I do think that this plant has the potential to get quite large if I just continue keeping it healthy um, I'm not quite sure if any of the other growth points are gonna wake up but that would be pretty cool to have like a little crystallinum bush. So anyway, um, I think for today, I just wanna get cleaned up. Um, I'm not feeling great about going into this next week with a super messy plant room. And I do have a lot of things I need to do this week for week of and just in general for filming other videos so I think a clean plant room is where I want to start and then if I have time before this meeting starts then I think maybe we'll repot a thing or two and just see how far I get so for now yeah just gonna time lapse clean up a little bit might do a little bit of watering it's been ages since I've even opened up this um, mills bow honestly so yeah all right <laughs> let's get started
For some reason, I have not been summoned to my meeting yet, even though it's almost 9 p.m. Uh, but I'm still standing by. But the plant room is as clean as it's gonna get for now, but I think in the meantime, I can try and save some of these seedlings that are looking very, very sad. I have lots and lots of dead seedlings. I can see four, three, probably 25 dead seedlings. Okay, maybe more like 35, but you know, such is life. Um, these have been outside of the greenhouse for way too long because I pulled it out to show it in a video. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna handle this later and then never did. So um, anyway, I've got these in tree fern fiber. So dry. They fall right off though. And like the roots are so nice and like fuzzy. But I think that once I get these into pond, they should bounce back um, pretty well because these root systems are actually, are actually still very healthy despite being really dry. Oh my gosh, Pudge. He's been so like extra needy lately. Like usually we go out twice a day. That's like the sort of normal for us. And at night Vince often has to like drag him out because he's already sleeping and like doesn't want to leave. So he has to like pull him out of bed, force him to put his leash on but lately it's like he sits by the door and just wants to go out like all the time and i'm like dude what is up with you and it makes me anxious because i feel like he's uncomfortable or he like needs my attention and i can't focus on my work oh man this one is not looking i think i'm gonna chuck this one so we got some dead seedlings honestly like i ended up with way more seedlings than I ever expected like when I first um, pollinated my inflow I was like oh like I'd love to get like 20 seedlings and then I ended up with like 150 or something I don't even I don't know it was just too many so I kind of knew there would be some casualties I knew that I didn't want to sell them as like little tiny plants because I didn't know if they would die a lot of um, friends who have purchased seedlings from uh, people local have killed their seedlings and I just wanted to make sure they were large enough to go to new homes and I felt comfortable that they had like a good enough root system and were like strong enough to, to move out of my, my, my conditions so yeah okay here's I'm gonna pull out my tray got quite a few left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have probably about 12 trays left of seedlings still. I think this view is better, but it's all, it's either going to be I'm cut off or the plants are cut off. And I feel like it's probably better that I'm cut off rather than the plants. Oh my gosh. He is seriously like, Hey lady, take me out. Okay, this one is dead. Sorry, little fella. So this one is still nice and strong. Oh man. I needed to address these seedlings for a long, long, long time. And they've really been stressing me out, to be honest. But I think I'm slowly but surely getting them into individual pots or getting them into um, like a denser substrate like pond or a really heavy soil. Not like this super, super dry aerated aeroid mix. I don't know why I chose to use my aeroid mix off the bat um, because yeah, they just dried out way too freaking fast. So lesson learned. And I think I showed you, oh yeah, I showed you guys my pawn pond, my Latusa pond pond in the beginning of this video. I think, so hard to remember. I'm just, oops filming back to back to back now and I really don't have an idea of what's in what video anymore. But yeah, I'm planning to make another pond so that um, I don't have to worry about them so much. Every time my phone vibrates, I'm like, no, it's my meeting. I'm just like, I'm just really tired and I hate Monday meetings, but this meeting was already pushed back from Friday and kind of has to happen, so. 
Some of these roots are getting really nice and chunky, which makes me very happy because I've come to realize that I don't <laughs> like working with seedlings. I would love to pollinate again and try and hybridize something else, but I don't think I would want such a huge inflow next time. I'd love to pollinate something a little bit smaller, um, but yeah, that inflow on my crystal mag was freaking ginormous and I didn't even think the entire thing would take but I had a full we had a full infructescence PP and yeah pretty much a hundred percent of the seeds germinated and I didn't lose any until they kind of got a little bit bigger and I was transplanting them but I was like oh for my first time this can't go very well because <laughs> I underestimated my my abilities. Look how sad these are, you guys. Bad Sherman. Dead. Dead and gone. Also dead and gone. Uh, pretty much dead and gone. Nope. Done for. Got two viable ones here. Of all of these super rehab seedlings, if I can save like 20 of them, I would be really, really happy. And then I think that I would have like a really good manageable amount. And then I think maybe over Christmas, I'll sell them. I'm actually planning to take them to the States to sell them on Marketplace there because I think that like the, like more people are buying down there. Um, because there's like an abundance of plants here in Canada and I feel like the selection isn't as fast in Sacramento. I could be wrong. It's not like I'm checking the market there all the time, but all I see is pretty much what my sense what my sister sends me. But she is getting some pretty good deals on things. Like she just got this. She really loves the San Liana, Monstera San Liana. And so she just got an Oreo one for like $5. She got like three of them for five. Not f three of them for five, but she got three for five each. And yeah, that's like crazy, crazy cheap. I think that pretty much all of these seedlings are dead in this one. Like, they're still viable like stems, but the stems are so tiny that I think if I even chop the stem or like chop the leaves off, I don't think that the stem is going to make it because it's so tiny. So I'm not even going to bother. So these are going in the dumper room. Last two in this cabinet. Got probably about four here that can be saved, I think. This one's dead. These three are dead. Or these two are dead. And I think this one might be dead as well. Let's see. Um, ooh. Yeah, not going to bother with that one. But these three should be okay. Not in the best shape, but I think savable, maybe. All right. The pond is going in. Just going to lay them out and then just start filling them with pond. at the door for like 30 minutes and he's been farting and I think he might have to it again. Did you eat dinner already? Oh.
So there's a very high chance that a lot of these won't take the to won't take to the transition well since most of them came from soil and we're we're working with very very delicate roots on a plant that's not very strong and going from soil to passive hydro so yeah there's a chance that maybe half of these or more might not make it but we're just gonna see what happens but anyway i've got most of these new pods filled um let's see i'm just i just want to see how much space i have to work with because oh my gosh this one's so flimsy so i want to see like how much space i'm working with here because i have these ones for my pond some of them are not doing very well some of them are doing okay I can see some new leaves, like it looks like this one completely died. There are new roots, but it's dead. That's weird. Okay, I'll transfer this one, kind of remove dead leaves, but I am pleased with how much some of these have perked up because a lot of these that went into the pond were sadder looking than these and now they look like they've got a little bit of life in them. I even see a new leaf. So that's good. Um, this one has one leaf and it's like dying but I don't know. I'm not going to give up on that one quite yet. This one is looking pretty okay. You can see some new leaves, some dying leaves, but ow. Not all hope is lost. I feel like I can see some spider mite damage on a few of them. I'm actually going to be treating these ones for thrips and spider mites preemptively, so once I get everyone into their pods, I'm going to take them to the bathroom and I'm going to spray them. Just in case. Okay, so that's kind of perfect. I've got about four pods left um, in my humidity dome, so they should all be able to fit in here perfectly. And um, yeah, then I'll treat. But First things first, I'm gonna have dinner. I'm gonna see if this meeting is still happening because it's getting kind of late. But I think I do have it in me to keep going tonight and just get this seedling thing um, situated and treat my seedlings preemptively for thrips and spider mites. So yeah, making some progress. I am so sleepy now after that dinner. Dead and dead. These are sad but alive. Minus maybe one. Oh, that's... She's a goner.
Oh my word. Man, some of these seedlings are looking so, so sad. Like, I would not be surprised if so many of them took a big fat caca like this guy who's like, just put me in the trash. Just, I'm calling it quits. All right, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take you into the bathroom because it's so hard to film in there. Um, but I'm just going to take these into the shower and I'm going to give them a good spray with my spider mite and thrip spray, and then um, I'll leave them in there overnight. And then tomorrow I will clean out the mills bow and kind of get everything settled. So. I think that's all I have in me for the rest of the night. So tomorrow should be a pretty full day. I will kind of show you how I put everything back into the prop area. I'm gonna clean out my Mills bow, I think, cause it's looking a little crusty in there. I need to water my Ethereum shelf. I was gonna do it tonight, but I, I don't know. I try to not water at night if I can because then in the morning I wake up and like everything is like perspiring and sometimes I get like those like bursted cells in the plant because all that water just kind of like rushes into the plant and like it's just like sweating it out so maybe we'll save watering for tomorrow or possibly even Wednesday but for sure want to kind of get more of these things repotted Probably most of this week of plant to-dos will be mostly repotting, I think, just because I'm feeling very determined to get everything, like all my rehabs, all my seedlings, like everything that's in moss still. Like I want all of those to be kind of handled by the beginning of July if possible. So anyway, I'm blobbing. Um, I'm going to go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, it's Wednesday. I took a day off of filming because I had work to do and I wanted to just kind of get caught up with my editing. When I film week ofs, I actually edit every single day after I film so that like I'm not bombarded with like 15 hours of footage to edit all at once. So I kind of wanted to get caught up and just finish all of my editing up to Monday. So I took Tuesday off because I actually had some unexpected plans come up for the end of the week. Um, Lauren has asked me to help her get the shop back together because she's just having, she's just had such a crazy time. She needs help kind of getting the storefront back together. Alice is gonna help out in the warehouse in the back. So I figured I could definitely spare a day of filming since I'll have some extra stuff to show you on Friday. Um, I don't plan on doing like a full shop tour or whatever, even though she has tons of new plants. Um, I'm going to kind of let Alice take reign of the back of the warehouse to get the content she needs. But I will show you highlights around the warehouse, like new plants she's brought in. Um, try and show you some of the overflow plants from the Equigenera, from the Tropicals Plant slash Equiflora show and just some plants that are kind of like standing out to me right now in her shop but um i do plan on filming a separate video getting the store back together but i'll give you some little peeks in this video before that video goes up yeah again i'm not really feeling up to editing another three hour video for this week of so took a day off but i'll still have definitely enough stuff to show you this week last night late last night i did end up coming into the plant room and just sort of zenned out because after just 16 hours behind a screen I just needed I needed something to kind of like make me not feel like a corpse so I went through my tent I cleaned it out um, I took out some things that need attention that need some care so I figured we can do that today but the first thing I want to do is get the mills bow back in order because my seedlings are all potted they can be put back in here I used to have the seedlings here but I think that they do much better inside of the mills bow and then that way I can reclaim this space for my overflow props which are in my smallest exo and then I think I'm going to convert my smallest exo into the plants that I'm specifically growing for my family that I'm going to be taking to California so that I just kind of know who needs to go there um, and I just think that'll be better because I have props in there right now and it's just not really being utilized um, 
correctly. Well, it's not being utilized in a way that I would like. So anyway, I'm, oh, this thing's sweating. Um, I'm just taking out all the allocations right now because I just want to do a quick spider mite check and uh, kind of see who needs to be watered and stuff. So let's just take these out and I'll kind of give you guys a peek at what's going on. Ugh. So you can tell that I kind of struggle in this corner. I can only open the door this far because of this shelf, which is another reason why I want to find a smaller table because it's really, really wide. And so I just need one that's a little bit shorter um, so that this Millsbo can shift this way a little bit and then I can swing this door all the way open because right now it's like it's so awkward to work here especially I try and film in this little corner a lot and yeah it's like the most uncomfortable place ever to film so yeah and I'm just really like always like super cramped and smushed in here and it's just not it's not great so anywho doing a little check we got the alocasia black velvet and I'm trying to decipher what is a predatory mite and what are spider mites so the thing when you buy the um where are they where is it so when you buy the predatory mites inside of the little packet I believe it comes with bran which is food for the mites if there's nothing for them to eat and then there are um, the actual like spike mites, ulti mites, risky mites, whatever you're using. And then there's like these like feeder mites, which are much smaller. They don't grow very large. And it's basically other um, mites that the predatory mites can feed on um, just so that like they're like the colonies or whatever last longer and they don't die off as fast if there's nothing for them to eat. So those are the ones that can kind of spread very, very, very quickly around um, your plants. And yeah, sometimes they can almost resemble spider mites, but I'm just trying to, like I can see stuff on the back of this and it's moving. Like I can't tell if these are predatory mites or if these are feeder mites. Other, either way, they're not, they don't, they're not spider mites. They're definitely some kind of predatory mites or at least these like little feeder mite guys. So I'm gonna leave those. Don't see any webbing, not seeing any damage on the leaf. So this one is looking okay. I actually have a corm right here that I can pluck out. Do I wanna pluck it out? Um, I feel like it can grow a little bit more before I pluck it. Um, I have these alocasia sinuata corms. I was going to, I was going to bring these for my family, but they have both expressed that they're not super into alocasia. So um, I'm not sure if I can get anything for this in terms of trades and stuff. But I don't really need another one. So um, these are kind of just like I don't know. I'll, I'll keep it for now just to see how they do and maybe I can just throw out some feelers in the group and see if anyone's down for a trade. Um, my Syningia leucotrica is getting really long. I don't know if this thing is super long because it's looking for light, but it's getting plenty of light in here. So anyway, I'm just glad it's growing. It just looks a little bit silly. It's flailing around everywhere. Uh, this is my Alocasia green dragon. I'm not seeing any spider mites. I'm just honestly like, sorry, my contact has been bothering me all day. Um, I'm just like so happy to see the results of months of spider mite treatments and just kind of persistence and not giving up, you know? So yeah, like where most of these alocasias had spider mites and some of them are pretty bad, it's like, I'm almost not seeing any anymore, which is so great. I definitely will be topping up on my predatory mites once Lauren gets more in. This one has yet another corm. This thing is just like always pregnant. What the heck? Um, my mellow looking so cute. 
I can see some stuff crawling around, but I do believe those are the little teeny tiny feeder mite guys too. Oh, that's nice. I should get a little trash can. But yeah, I gotta I gotta water these guys because some of them have not been watered in freaking ages. Gosh, this thing is so dry. This is a zero sisios, zero sisios, zero sisios, zero sisios, zero sisios dengue eye that I was supposed to give Erin, but she has been trying to downsize her collection, so I'm not quite sure she even wants it anymore. But I've been hanging on to it. If she doesn't take it, then I'll just give it to my mom. Um, here is my Maharani. Still a little guy, but you know, slowly, slowly but surely. Cupria that was rehabbing definitely has been rehabbed. It's super rooty. I can probably get this thing into um, new pond again, but yeah. This one has struggled a bit. I don't find this one to be super, super easy, like my uh, like my Scalprum or whatever, but. Uh, Alocasia Michalitziana Maxkowski eye is rooting and tooting along just fine. It's in that pond that I got from Ina. It did drop like two leaves, but um, we have another one that came out. Doesn't look the greatest, but honestly, I think this guy is gonna hopefully glow up over the summer. I have a good feeling. Silver Dragon is pushing out lots of little pups. Or like little corms down here none of them are large enough to harvest but again I wouldn't even know what to do with them I think eventually I'll just if I if I have too many props or too many corms I'll just give start giving them away got a nice sheath opportunity here I checked this one not too long ago I didn't see any spider mites on it it's just so so nice to see pest free plants yeah, I would love to see this one size up. Um, I think it's Fern that has a really large silver dragon. I know she has like a huge like green dragon and hers is like beautiful. So we're manifesting. Um, this is my scalp room, just kind of living. Living la vida loca. This one has, this one pushed out like three flowers in a row, like three inflows in a row. And I've just been chopping them off I actually think this one coming in is another one <laughs> and it hasn't given me a leaf in so freaking long. I'm like, come on guy. It's been, it's been, it's been a while, you know? And then my white princess, I think I showed this leaf recently in a video. I can't remember. Or maybe it was, I can't remember filming too much these days, but yeah, this leaf is like pretty sizable compared to the rest of them. and. This new leaf doesn't look like it's gonna have any sectoral variegation, but it looks like it'll be speckly with maybe like a little strip of white. So, oh, checking for pests, checking for pests. Man, nothing. It's amazing. This is amazing. Okay, so now that we have inspected the entire team, we're gonna just clean up in here because it is looking Russ D. And I really would love to give you a closer view of the clean because I feel like it's like really satisfying to see all the dirt being wiped away. But I, I can't fit, I can't fit anything in here. If I put you right here, I would knock the camera right over. I have to open this, it's a whole thing. So I think I'm just gonna stick you right there and we're just gonna get this cleaned up. But yeah, look, like this is this is the space I'm working with. I gotta be right here.
Here is the finished Whoa seedling tray and oh, the door closed. No, no. A part of me wants to keep the dome on. Oh, I look like a little head that's just like, hello. Um, ooh. So part of me wants to keep this, the dome on the top of it to enclose humidity since some of these are just not doing very well but then i've got like big seedlings like this that like don't need the dome on anymore nor do i want to get them used to like higher humidity look at this cutie leaf i'm deceased so i don't know i guess we'll just see how they do and uh hopefully they're all right I do need to fill this guy with water though. Oui. <laughs> okay. So I put I put about four of these into this seedling tray and we'll see how they do. I might need to add more a little bit later, but they should be okay for now. And now I just need to add the rest of my seedlings into here. I cannot wait to get out of this corner. Oh, I did it again. Stupid necklace. I can feel my tummy rumbling. Look at how big this seedling is getting. I think, yeah, this is the biggest one so far. It's so round. Um, I don't know if these need water. I think they do. Okay, let me just water some of these really quickly. Ah, Pudge's fur is in here. Oh well. Extra proteins and minerals. <laughs> and I think I can put some of my scalp rooms in here too um 
sad news in the scalp room world. I lost one of them already and I think another one is on the way out. It was I think the two in soil that took uh, Kaka but I've still got I've still got a good amount here so we'll see but like look at this one. I think we'll work on that today see what's going on. This one has not done anything so I kind of want to see what's going on in here too and same with this one. Um, the two in moss are still going strong and same with the ones in pond although the smaller of the corm does not look does not look well but this one is this one's okay so they're dwindling down a little bit but I mean I've got I'm pretty sure I have more scalpum corms in my mother plant so nothing to worry about today's chores are gonna be like ten times more than I had planned for okay um, I'm just trying to get like all my little props down here I think I can move this one down I'm pretty sure I had more allocations propagating I'm gonna have to find oh I forgot my Michelitziana whoops uh, where do you want to go guy so everything is okay so far in there um, I am going to, what's the plan here? I don't know if I want to start moving my props in here now or if I want to start repotting. I'm going to figure it out after I have lunch because I'm starved. But yeah, lots and lots and lots to do today. Okay. So full. Alright, let's check in on some of these props. What even are these? Oh, this is my dark phoenix. That's where it went. Look, there's a leaf. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking teeny tiny. That is the cutest little dark phoenix ever. Um, I plan to give this one to my sister because I think that this is one that she would really enjoy even though I could get a good amount of money for it or at least like a pretty solid trade. I would uh, much rather it go to my sister. And then I don't know what the heck this is truly I hate when propagations do these little bushes you know like why for what um, and then this variegated this variegated hay is also going to my sister so randomly she had that on her wish list well she actually had a hay on her wish list and I was like let me do you one better I've got a variegated one for you um my serpents is somehow still alive in here, even though it's flooded in water. Single leaf, going strong. Then I've got some type of chunk in here, and then I think this one's a Jose... <laughs> a Jose Buono, maybe? Oh, this is a nasty pop box. Okay, so... What I need to do is just start moving some props over here. And I almost want to get some of them into a humidity dome, I think. So let me go grab it. I actually just cleaned it last night. Do you guys see him? What do you guys think? Should I let him in? All right, babe. You look so sad, my poor thing. You can sit on this little towel I have here. You want to sit on the towel? No, you can sit right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my hair. Hi. I know, we're gonna go take our nap soon. I just gotta finish up in here, okay? I know, how about you sit on this towel? Sit there. Don't eat that, that's a leaf. So I'm gonna move my own props from this prop XO into the prop area, but everything that is going to my parents are gonna, why do I keep saying my parents? My family in California will stay in here. So we can do some watering and moving at the same time. The first one is this Philodendron Plumanii. This one is actually staying with me. And then I have a, <laughs> this is my Alocasia long, Longoloba, Longoloba. Sorry, if you guys don't like pug snoring, you might wanna skip through this part because Pudge is gonna be honking in the background. Sheath was hard to take off. Jeez. 
It looks like a little nipple. And there's one more. <laughs> it looks so funny. It looks like a little turnip. Um, so this one's staying with me as well. And then I have a Dean McDowell. I'm really hoping these don't... Oh no, it died. <gasps> they both died! My Dean McDowell. Please tell me I have another one in here. I'm supposed to be giving a Dean to Lisa. I think I still have one more. If not, I can definitely um, get a cutting for a friend. From a friend. Oh, here! This one was for... I think this one was for Lisa. Okay. Okay, Lisa. We still got one left. Hasn't rooted or done anything, but we're not giving up. I think I need to bury this deeper. Let me go in there. Okay. So yeah, um, Lisa is a longtime subscriber slash follower on my Instagram and she's always leaving such nice comments and stuff so um, actually I'm gonna keep this with my family stuff so I don't forget um, and she is on the way when I go to California so I'm planning to just stop and go visit her this one's a little bit soft I don't even know what this is look at this weird Lega it looks like a poo so this one's not mushy all the way through, but it's soft up at the top. Okay, and then these skindapses are going to my family. I need a little bit of water. Oh, this one stays here. Oh, wait, what? what? <laughs> Why am I so confused? Oh, 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 I see, okay. Okay. This Monstera Escaletto was supposed to stay with me for research and ooh, study reasons. I just wanted to see sort of the growth difference between growing a plant in um, pond and in a tent versus soil. Um, and the one in my tent is so much bigger, but my sister wants an Escaletto, so this one will be also going to California and then I have this philodendron ernestii I just had a brain fart I have a philodendron genevivianum that is also going to my family I don't know if this is going to go to my mom or my sister but they can they can figure that out <sighs> no clue what this one is I think it's some kind of crawler though of sorts and then I have, oh my, a philodendron, what is wrong with me? I have an Ethereum Baroquianum. This one is staying with me as well. And I have a philodendron Myoi that is going to California. I think my mom already has hers, if it's still alive. If not, this one will go to my sister. A clarinervium stump. Still feels firm. Kind of looks like it's getting a little bit moldy though. It doesn't look good, but I'm just gonna water it. <laughs> I don't even know why I have this, but or where it came from. I have my variegated serpents that is not pushing out any leaves. Oh, it is. Oh, they're so cute. This one has not seen the light of day. It's always been in my prop um, bin. So hopefully one day she'll be big enough to go join her friends in the Rudsta. Oh, I right labeled it. Forgetty Eye White Stripes. Nice. Stem is nice and firm. So let's just get that watered. This one's going to go to my family if I'm not able to grab a Forgetty Eye for my sister before I go. This is a philodendron mexicanum. I think this one is going to go to my family as well. Ethereum magverde. This one's staying with me. Oh, this is that skindapsis I was working on. 
I think these are feeder mites. I don't think these are spider mites, but in any case, this one's staying with me as well. I have a pink princess that's not doing too hot. It still looks alive. The stem is still firm, so we're gonna leave that. This one is also staying with me. Um, more skin dapsis going to me familia. This is a Milano stump, but I think it's dying. Oh. Yeah, that's toast. This this is all toast. That's all. Gotta go. Oh no. Oh, I didn't label this. Crap. It's this. Oh, it's a corm. I don't even know which corms these are. Okay then. Is this just a thing of pawn? Oh. Well, it used to be a corm. Oh, it's still firm. I don't know what corm this is, but it's going back in and I'm gonna add some water. There are too many allocations in here. What the heck? Oh, this is that Hoya Croniana that I got for my mom from North Shore Tropicals. It freaking threw a fit as soon as I took it home. So that one's not doing very well, but hopefully I have something to take home to my mom. Um, this is my Begonia Malachostica that has been rehabbing because it was looking really sad but now it's like super perked up so I actually need to move this into pond. It actually took a dump from when I moved it to pond so then I took it out and then I rerooted it in water so now I need to try again because I don't want it sitting in water. This is a Philodendron SP Columbia that is going to go to my sister. This one was actually from Jing. She just dropped off a bunch of like stumps and was like, here, see what it gives you. And uh, yeah, I was surprised to see this one. So my sister will be getting one. Lucky her. Oh no. My sad Milano. <laughs> well, it's not mine. I was supposed to give it to my si sister. But this thing won't freaking root for me. I don't know what the deal is. <gasps> Roots! Good old tree fern fiber. Okay, let's get that guy back in there. It's so dry though. And then I have, oh, screw you, buddy. This is that stupid Homolomina tie splash that I could freaking care less about. Still, oh, Roots! Woo! Ow. I should probably just leave this thing the hell alone and stop fussing with it. And then I've got some like random guys in here. I don't know what the hell. Ow. I don't know what this is. Does this look like a Gloriosum to you guys? I think this is a Gloriosum. And maybe a something. Mexicanum. Nah, I'll just keep it because I don't know what it is. Oh, I forgot about my dead seedlings in there. Um, this is a unlabeled Anthurium. I guess we'll see what it is once it wakes up. It's in the largest freaking Wendy's cup though. And then this is another one of those stumps that Jing dropped off for me. It's got two growth points waking up. I just scraped the stem a little bit to kind of like give it a little nudge like, hey, what's up? Sorry, my husband's in a meeting. So I'm gonna keep that to see it through. But I totally freaking forgot about all these seedlings I put in here, which are now all dieted. Oh no. They're so mushy. I had too many. I just had way too many. It was like insane. So, okay, getting those out of there. Now. What I'm going to do is just put the plants back that are going to my family. Just checking for thripsises. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so sorry, I started blabbing and doing stuff and realized I wasn't even recording, but um, first off, I figured out a solution for the potting situation here. I've had this like attachment for my tripod that I've never used and it's like the perfect thing. It brings the camera closer without um, me needing to like lean the tripod over or have it touch my table so it doesn't shake. And yeah, now we're much closer. Uh, I think I may need to angle down a little bit. What if I move my... I think this is the lowest my chair goes. I think that's a better angle, but anywho, um, I've got roots on these. I have not, I can't remember if I said this already, but these are my, these are my orchids that I got from the Equigenera pop-up show at Bandula. I have never imported or acclimatized an orchid before. So this is my first time. If you guys watched that video, you would have seen that the root system and the entire stem was gnarly. It smelled so bad, it was all rotted. But we have roots. Signs of life. So I'm not quite sure if I wanna keep it in this substrate or if I wanna move it to tree fern fiber, but since it seems to be doing somewhat okay in here, I think I'll leave it. But I do have um, lots of dead leaves that I need to sort of clean off and just make sure nothing is rotting in here. Now these leaves are really stuck. I just don't want to break off any new roots. Oh. I'm so happy to see you guys. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Must be very, very, very careful. I'm gonna get poked in the eye here. They are really on there. They don't peel off really easily like the plants I'm used to. This guy's like completely died. I'm just gonna chop this one off. one inside here has died as well that's okay because this plant was way bigger than I ever intended I was really hoping to only bring home a small plant after that show I'm just gonna chop it off I don't want to accidentally rip some roots off just for the sake of cleaning up this plant Okay, so this one is cleaned up. It does not look great. The stem doesn't look great, but it's actually it's actually firm. It's not it's not rotting. It's not mushy. It's just a very ugly color and it was an ugly and it was an ugly color when it came in. So, I'm going to quickly do this one cuz I don't want that one to dry out. gosh, I am so happy. <gasps> I feel legit so accomplished right now. Like, I can't even begin to tell you guys how good this feels. <sighs> I'm not going to really touch those. Like, they're doing just fine. But I am just going to do a little cleanup. So that it doesn't make me so sad to see it in the in the tent but yeah right now i just have this one on the floor of my um my tent sitting in these little trays of water i never let it go without water and wow these are beautiful i want to take a photo of it yeah let's do that okay be right back if you guys watched that video it was a very very invasive clean it was an invasive chop and I was like, well, it wasn't that expensive. 
if it dies, but obviously like I would wish I would hope it doesn't die. So this mix has actually been pretty great. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is the substrate is very, very wet. Like it's definitely wicking up that water really well, the, the orchid bark is, because these are soaked. I'm wondering if I add tree fern fiber, what would those properties do together? Orchiata and tree fern fiber. It's a great mix. I'm just unsure how I feel about it for an orchid. I like that the perlite sort of um, breaks apart some of that orchiata and allows like airflow to pass through the vessel still. I'm almost considering no drainage because it likes to just sit in a pool of water. Mm, my hair is bothering me. I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'll do like lots of coarse perlite down at the bottom and then maybe add more orchiata. Orchiata is magical though, I love this stuff. Okay, I've got this big one that can go into here and then this smaller one that can go into this one. Actually, I don't think this is tall enough because I'd like there to be a reservoir down at the bottom. I'm going to switch this little exotica greenhouse thing. Oh my gosh, it's already started rooting. Was I doing that in this video? No, I was doing it in my plant gift away video if you guys watched it. <laughs> it's been here for like two days. It's already rooted. Jeez Louise. Okay, so let's get that back so it keeps rooting. Man, this method seriously is like, it's foolproof. Oh, maybe I should add the water back. Why is it spilling everywhere? One for this one, one for this one. Let's work on this guy first since it has the fuzziest roots. Let's do this coarse perlite down at the bottom. Rest in peace manicure. Okay. And then I'll get a little bit of this orchiata on top. And I think I'm even now going to add some... No, you know what? I think it might be too... Oh, no. I was going to add some like Riesel inoculants, but I think I'm going to just leave it for now. Watch me spill this all over the place. Why don't I use a scoop? Seriously, I just, why do I always choose chaos? Ow. I just got one of these new scoops from planthappens.com, which is Jing's shop, and I love it. Such a great little scoop. be way easier to manage as well when I'm in California because I have to refill those little drip trays like every two days and obviously I'm not going to ask whoever is caring for my plants while I'm away to refill it every two days if anyone will even be able to watch my plants. All right. So feeling really good about that. I can't wait till I can start seeing roots along the vessel, like the edges of the vessel, cause yeah, it's just way easier to kind of like see what's happening. So then this one, let's try tree fern fiber, orchiata, and this perlite with this. hearing things for like three days, but uh, we'll 
save that for Halloween. these to appreciate the new pants but also kind of nervous but I think I think they'll be okay next up let's do some of these smaller ones just to like get them out of the way this is one of the scalp from corms in tree fern fiber um, it is not soft but I am going to peel this layer of sort of like husk off so that it can root. Oh my gosh, it almost went flying. Peeling back these corms have to be one of my favorite things ever, ever, ever. It's just so satisfying. Just like it just peels off like skin. Um, so yeah, perfectly healthy corm under here. It looks really great. And now I think that this one's going to have an easier time rooting. I think that's why this growth point came out and it kind of just stopped because it's just like, okay, well, I don't have enough strength to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to need some backup here. Okay, so let's see what this guy is doing. I think I have two corms in here. Yeah. So feels feels firm. You can literally sometimes just peel them like garlic. Let's see if I can do it with this one. Oh there. Perfectly healthy corm as well. Well, this one's not the greatest color, but it's definitely alive. My face is probably going to look so ugly while I'm <laughs> trying to concentrate peeling these back. But, yeah, I think these guys just needed a little bit of uh, assistance because the other ones didn't really have a thick layer of bark over it. Um, so, I think they should kind of wake up now. Alright, this one looked like it rooted, but it's completely dried now, so we're just going to start over. Feels firm. You can squeeze it and sort of loosen up the, the outer layer. And just peel. Sometimes it's easier to just use your finger than a scraper, but I don't like when it gets stuck under my nails. This one has super thick bark. Blew at me. Oh yeah. It's like peeling a walnut. Wait, do you peel walnuts? These guys are peeled and ready to go. I'm just wondering what substrate I should use now. I think I have, I think I've got one in moss, one in pond, so maybe I'll stick to tree fern fiber. These three. Oh, I have four actually. This one is sad. I'm just gonna chop that one off. We're starting over. Oh, that was so nice. Oh yeah. I love when it just like peels off so easily like that. Oh my gosh. It's unlike anything you've ever experienced. Okay, so this is good news because what I thought were four dead
scalp rooms were actually for alive scalp rooms. What to root them in now? I really am, okay, how about tree fern fiber and pawn? All right, the scalp rooms are in. Fingers crossed for them, please. Let's just keep tooting along here. I got this, oh gosh, we're gonna try this again. This is Begonia Malachostica. We're gonna put it in this cutie little pot. And I think I'm gonna try pawn again. We can do it. And I don't have my mic at the table and I'm not moving, so. Oh. Oh, the tiniest little leaf at the bottom broke off. Oh no. Okay, sorry. These roots are just so hairline and tiny, like, they're just so delicate. Begonia roots scare the crapola out of me. Oh, it looks so cute in this little pot. So, who should, I think we should do, wait, let's say Wednesday. Thursday I'll be at, or Friday I'll be at the shop. Thursday, tomorrow, I need to film another YouTube video. I kind of did want to get all of these repotted in this video though. Gosh. I just don't think I have it in me. Truly. Let's just tackle this big guy because this one has been stressing me out. This is a philod philodendron. <laughs> philodendron giganteum. This is one of Nick's plants, and it has needed a repot since probably last year. First things first, let's peel off this husk. Let's get you a little teeny bit higher. I've been wanting to rip off this sheath for so long, but I wanted to save it for filming. to untangle moss roots in forever. I think I'm just gonna time lapse this whole thing because it's gonna take me until tomorrow. So see you Thursday. My arms are on fire. Okay, so here's what's going on with the root situation. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. I am extremely excited to clean this chunk. I would be lying if I said I wasn't. So that's what I'm going to focus on right now. And I'm gonna try and angle the camera down so, cause so that I don't have, what did I say? <laughs> I'm gonna try and angle the camera down so that I don't have to hold it up while I'm cleaning because my arm literally might explode. So, gosh, these are like Demogorgon roots.
I think I'm gonna do pawn because it did have a bit of pawn in it before. So I think I think it's gonna be okay, but man, this stem looks so much better, guys. I don't know what that was before. That was probably one of the gnarliest chunks I've ever cleaned. Did I want to use all of that pawn on a flint that's not even mine? No. 
Did I do it for a friend? Yes. Because I'm such a good friend. Oh, I missed this area over. He was hiding. I didn't even see him. There you go, buddy. Now find your way now. All right, go play with your friends. <sighs> okay, well, that was way more work than I wanted to do right now, but we got it done. Hopefully it was all for something and it doesn't take a crap on me um, shortly after this, but never really know. Do I have it? Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna attempt that El Choco Red. That is gonna be a part two of what I just did and probably even worse. So I think I could handle maybe like a Hoya right now. How about that? A Hoya, and then I'm calling it a day for today's tour because I am beat. I haven't even watered my plants yet. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Okay, maybe I'm not done done. Maybe after tonight's meeting when I'm feeling all stressed and huffy and puffy, I can de-stress by watering some plants with no talking, just a relaxing water with me. Let's do this massive Hoya guy so that I can get it into my tent. It is really hard to describe the sheer size of this Hoya. Like, look at it in comparison to the size of my hand. It's unreal. Like, what? Okay, so let's get this into here, even though this is nasty moss and this is good moss. Whoa, there's another growth point down here. It's like uncovering treasure. Promise, I'll show you guys in a bit. I know you can't see anything, but these roots are the same exact color as the moss and I can't see what I'm doing. It's like driving in the rain. Lots of roots. What is this stem? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. It's like a tree trunk. What in the world? Like, what is this? Is this just like dead roots or what? Okay, so we've got a nice little growth point right here. Let's, oh my gosh, fingers crossed. I don't knock this thing off. You guys know how I am, especially with Hoyas. I'm notorious for just snapping off new Hoya growth. There's like little chunks of stuff. I think these are like import roots, like old import roots. Look at this. Like these aren't good, right? Oh, that looks brand new. I can't see a stem. This is wild. Like, where's the stem? It's like bark. What the heck? Look at all of this cutie live moss down here. Adorable. It's so dense and there's like live moss in here that it's like actually healthy. And there's definitely like soil in here, I'm guessing from the importer, cause Aaron, or Aaron. <laughs> Lauren doesn't use soil to um, sell or acclimate her plants. I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. I really don't want to break off more than I need to. A good root system though, like pretty solid. These are unrooted. These are unrooted and brand new. The last time I saw them in the shop and Lauren did a great job. So I know I'm cut off a little bit, but this vessel isn't ideal, but I do want to hang this in my red stuff, so I need to use a plastic vessel. Obviously, I can't use glass. Oh, this is so sticky. don't know how I'm feeling about that repot. It was very aggressive. I removed a lot of what I think are dead roots, but sometimes Hoya roots just look nasty and disgusting. But um, the good news is I didn't break this growth point in this little corner, this little tiny peepee. 
So hopefully it keeps going. Um, I'm going to poke another hole down here further and reinforce it because this is quite heavy. This is gonna just rip. There's no way it's gonna hold. So I've gotta find a way to make it stronger and then I'm gonna get it hung in the Rudsta. And I will show you what it looks like in part two of my Rudsta video, which should be going up in the next few weeks. A part of me is like, go to sleep. Like just remove your makeup, go to sleep. Don't wake up till the sun goes down. Or lay in bed and watch Teen Mom till you fall asleep. But then another part of me is like, you're already here. You only have three more plants to repot. Like, you're gonna regret it. Actually, I have, I have four. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. At least I'm gonna try to do it. Um, who do we have here? To be honest, this one doesn't even need to be repotted. I mean, some of the root, no, that's moss. It's already in soil. Um, it looks like the root system is just getting going. So luckily this one is good. I am going to spray it with some bug spray just in case, never know. Not that my red stuff is <laughs> pest free or anything, but um, so I'll take that to the sink and handle it. Ooh, that was an easy repot. Oh gosh. I have to do this one now though. Because I uprooted it when I freaking pulled it out of the bag. Idiot. Oh, these are little spider eggs. I should be in REM. All I want to do is lay in bed and watch videos of my new nephew. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. Okay, so let me tell you. Um, Saturday after the event, I was like, I'm going to go to sleep all night. I'm going to just rest, rest, rest. Then my mom, well, I did fall asleep. I slept for like maybe what was like an hour. And then I wake up and I have like a bunch of missed calls and FaceTime calls from like every single one of my family members. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the baby is coming. I just know it. So then... When I talked to my sister earlier that afternoon, she was like saying that her contractions were so bad and I kept telling her to go to labor and delivery. I'm like, dude, it's like so regular, like go. She's like, no, like there's long breaks in between. I bet you I'm still three centimeters dilate, dilated. She went to labor and delivery because the pain was so bad. She was nine centimeters. I was like, I told you. So yeah, she was like in active labor and of course, I couldn't just lay in bed and go to sleep. I was so anxious. I was just pacing around. So, you know, I did plant stuff and I was up till like maybe one. Baby was born around 1130. She didn't text us or tell us anything until about 1, 1 a.m. Um, we FaceTimed the baby, I think, was it the next day or was it that night? I don't know. I was up really late though. And yeah, he's just so freaking precious. He looks so much like Millie, but like they look very, very like different still in their own way. He has this like precious little birthmark on his, on his hand. And we didn't know the gender the entire time. They didn't either, it was a surprise. Not that it matters, but it's so like surreal to think that there's like another baby in the family. I think that you guys by now, if you've, if you like kind of keep up with all my videos, you probably know how obsessed I am with my niece. I feel like she's my child. So I'm just absolutely like blown away at this second kid that sometimes I look at his photos and I'm like, it still doesn't like feel real yet that he's like her son and like part of our family, you know, it's always been Millie for almost three years so it's so strange that there's now another baby in the equation and he's just such a good little baby he's been sleeping well through the night he's latching really well eating really well so i'm just really glad because um you know with millie she went through postpartum um pretty badly and i'm just Kind of hoping this time around it'll be a little a little bit better for her i think you know she definitely is more prepared this time but those hormones will do things to you so i think it's great though that she has such um a good support system down there like she's got 
her husband's parents, um, my parents, my sister and her boyfriend. She has her best friend. Like, she definitely has support if she needs it. Like, if she just needs a break, if she needs sleep. But yeah, I won't be meeting him until August, which is going to be torture. But uh, I kind of knew that the baby was going to come early, but I didn't want to go there right away. Like I wanted my sister to kind of settle in. I didn't want her to feel like she kept having... Because I'm going to be staying with my mom this time since the new baby is there. I, I think it's just going to be too chaotic if me and Vince stay at her house. So we'll be with my mom and, you know, she said she'll try and bring... The kids over like as much as possible and then we can go there but like if we came too early i didn't want her to feel like overwhelmed with like having to pack the kids up go to my mom's house or like clean up the house because we were coming over you know like at least in august she'll be a little bit more settled sort of have hopefully a good routine with um his name is ansel ansel brooks hopefully they'll, they'll have a good routine by then and um it won't be too much of like I guess a disturbance to have us visiting for those however long we're gonna be visiting. This one's not rooted, but I think I actually might give this one to my mom. So I'll let that callus over. And then, cause this is more than enough for just me. I just don't know, <laughs> there's like roots growing everywhere. I don't really know what to do here. I had mentioned when I showed this to you guys that I was considering doing sort of, sort of a trailing slash climbing thing, but I just don't know. I don't know if that's going to be too difficult to... Oh, that's a spider. Spider eggs. I don't know if this one's going to be big enough. I could potentially give my mom more than one cutting so that she has like a... A fuller pot. Maybe I can give her these two and then keep this one. Oh, this would be such a cute little trailing plant. I'm obsessed with it. So I'll just kind of do, or maybe I'll like do two facing sort of upward. I think I could do like a trellising thing. Okay, how about, let's just try it. So I've got, oh my gosh, I only have one more clear trellis. Okay, this pot is probably pushing it a little bit, but now to figure out which one should climb. So this one looks like a good one to trail like that over the pot. And so does this one. Maybe we can like overlap it. Something like this. So it looks stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and then these two can be trellised, I think. Okay. So let's get this in. I'm gonna stick my trellis in. And then I want one of them to crawl upward, I think, as well as this one. I have no idea what it looks like from the front. It looks crazy. It's looking a little bit wild, but wild is good sometimes, okay? I have a vision. Sometimes I feel like I have a lot of great ideas, and then I like do it and I'm like, oh, what happened there? <laughs> I at least have to get it out of my system or else I can't sleep. Okay, so that is pretty in there. So now I just gotta figure out where I'm, you can't even see anything on the screen. I'm still really far away. Um, let's do, this one and this one together like this Ugh. i'm trying to use the least amount of clips for this and then 
this one can go here. These two somehow have to be clipped together. Did I do it? Kind of. I mean, it's not like clipped all the way, but it's still holding on to it. Guys, that actually looks so cute. This like half trellised, half hanging. I'm sort of into it. I might have done something there. I'm into it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Good work. I, I high five myself. Stop dripping, you freak. Jean gave me two of these philodendron narrows. I'm not sure if this was like for my mom. Oh, it's variegated. Well, that's interesting. I don't even know if she noticed that. Are any of these variegated? Came from the same plant. All right, well, I think if this was not an accident, I will be giving this to my mom. So I'll leave it in this little cup. And then this one, I actually don't even think this is rooted. I believe she just cut this. Oh, it's starting to root. Okay, cool. Um, but what do I want to grow this in long term? Definitely not moss. Oh, the roots are so cute. Oh, that's a spider. No, I don't want it to crawl on me. Ah. Do you see it crawling around? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. I have to trap him. Ah! Oh God. Should I put him in my... I'm gonna go put him in my EXO because he can be helpful, but how am I gonna grab him? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there you are, buddy. Nope. Come up here. Good job, buddy. You guys probably can't see it. Oh, it's so cute. It has a red little belly. I don't know what kind of spider that is. I just don't want spiders that will bite me and give me itchy scars. But I could put it in my EXO, so I'm going to go do that. If we don't have any other guests, we can continue on. Um, I think I want to do pond for this one as well. Just get something nice to put it in, I guess. This is probably my ugliest vessel that I have, but I'm planning to just put this on my shelf anyway. So I'll just tuck it in the back. No one will know. I also see a plant in my EXO that needs my help desperately. That was pretty easy, besides the little spider situation. Hey, we have a major problem. <laughs> it's all of these damn plants and moss. Okay, let's see how bad the damage is, because this is one that I really, really wanted to save this year. No! The more time that goes on, the more I just hate moss even more and more. Like truly, it's just been nothing but a headache for me in the last several months. I think I gotta start over again on this one. These roots are just dried the hell out. Oh gosh, even this stem. I don't wanna lose this plant. This is my philodendron Esmeralda Dense Narrow. So if you're wondering how that's going, it's just, it's tough to, oh God, a huge plant well. I don't think all hope is lost in the stem, but we've got to start this root system over again. It's so dead and gone. Damn it, it was doing so well. It was starting to size up. And I think I just showed this in a video and then I took it out of my tent and I stuck it in my EXO and I just, I forgot about it. I think I'm gonna stick this in water overnight and just see what happens, but it's not looking, it's not looking, it's not looking good. We were doing so well. Like the leaves were getting a lot bigger. Like this leaf right here was the biggest one I ever had. Back into water this goes. Stat. Oh my gosh, it is a 
huge mess here. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Okay, this guy is in Moss too, and before I lose this one as well, oh no. My goal over the next two weeks is to get all of my moss plants out of moss. I don't want to see any freaking moss plants anywhere unless it's in a prop bin. This is a sign that I have too many plants because I can't keep up with watering. I'm telling you, most of the plants that die in my care from whatever reason, um, but when you're talking about like root rot or just dead roots, it's because I forget to water. This root system sucks too. It didn't suck when I got it from Lauren, it's just because I freaking let it dry out so fast. <sighs> this one was also in my EXO, it was living in super high humidity, it was not drying out as fast as it did once I took it out, but sometimes I forget that there are no doors on my EXO so that EXO is not as humid as I am used to it being. So it's kind of like an unconscious thing where I'm like, oh, it's in the greenhouse, like once a week waterings will be fine. But no, it's like so hot in here. Everything dries out, it's like a desert. I'm just gonna chop off some roots off camera really quick. Guys, it's such a mess. Okay, it's not great, not great at all. But I'm gonna try pond and tree fern fiber with this one, I think. I have a mix of tree fern fiber, pawn, and orchiata. Now I'm just like in panic mode. This is not what I had plan for today, but plans always keep you on your toes, don't they? Alright. Oh, geez Louise. I'm just gonna make sure nobody else is like dying on me in that XO. I'm somewhere behind here. I still have to repot my El Choco Red, but things are getting too crazy here and I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I think if I have time still in this week of plant to do's, either tomorrow or Friday or if I keep filming till Saturday which is kind of unlikely then we will repot the El Choco Red if not I'll probably just do that off camera or um, in a repot and chat but I think just for today I'm going to time lapse the rest put the camera aside get everything cleaned up and then I'm gonna go to sleep
it's Friday. Um, obviously, I took yesterday off because I was a lazy piece of But um, I'm here with my good friend Alice. And we are going to go to uh, Lauren's at North Shore today to help her clean the hurricane that went through her um, her shop. So she brought a bunch of plants from her greenhouse into the shop and now everything is a disaster and she has to reopen on Saturday. So Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, Alice is going to be filming like a overhaul of the shop. I'll tell you the plan in a little okay. bit. So Alice is going to show you sort of the before after like the process of getting it cleaned and then today I'll just show you some highlights from the shop like some new plants that she got in, some plants that I'm like eyeing or whatever and then we're going to end this week of because it is three hours long already. It's three hours long. Why do you do that? I don't know. How do you have so many chores? Because <laughs> I don't have a life and too many plants. <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna go to the store to buy a bunch of cleaning supplies, which I'm, I'm so excited, excited about. Um, and then we're gonna go get coffee, and then we'll be at North Shore, and then we'll do all the things, and then I'm gonna end this week of because it is too freaking long.
is grown in. Oh. <gasps> the ducks. The ducks. Oh, they're so cute. I wish I had duck food. It smells like though. Mm -hmm. Hi, duckies. Do they attack? Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am so tired. This video has just taken everything out of me. I know it's three hours long because I've been editing as I film. So it's pretty much almost done. I just need to add the footage that I'm filming right now. And yeah, we're right, right at the three hour mark. I wasn't trying. I promise you, I really wasn't trying. The idea of having a three hour video was a little bit appealing to me, but I was not trying to do it so soon after publishing a two hour and 50 minute long video. Sorry guys, I got my eye on the river today. It's supposed to flood. We had to move our cars out of the parkade because they said water was gonna come in or something. I don't know, and it's pouring right now. So I'm like, I'm beat, I'm so tired. Um, my body is so sore from <laughs> cleaning on Friday and like I have bruises all over my legs my chest is sore my armpits are sore I think from all the like scrubbing and just I'm so out of shape but anyway let's end this freaking video I'm just going to show you guys some of the things that I got from Lauren and yeah it was a pretty pretty great haul so uh there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine plants i feel like i'm missing like two of them but i can't can't remember right now so let's start with the small hoyas the first hoya is this hoya fungi and this was the hoya that lauren has been trying to get me to get for the longest time every time i see her she's like do you have a hoya fungi yet do you want to grab a hoya fungi you need to get a hoya fungi so i finally got a hoya fungi i'm not really sure what changed in me this time but these leaves are just so freaking dark and i love the slight speckling um she said that it was sort of starting to resemble a carnosa but like look at how dark these leaves are it's incredible she had a bunch at the shop there were so many cute ones she still has a lot more and i was like let's just do it so this guy is going to be crawling up the wall in my hoya cabinet and i'm just really excited it's got two new leaves coming can't take credit for this because they were already emerging when i purchased it but yeah, this one is really, really fun. The second Hoya that I got, I am slightly... Just fell off the table. I am slightly more excited for this next one that I'm gonna show you, and it is a Hoya Finlaysonii. Um, I have actually had my eye on this plant for a very long time. I've seen them at her shop, I've seen them at her greenhouse, and all of the leaves looked like this. And the reason that I chose to not get it was because I felt like what this plant was giving was very close to what my Hoya Callistophia, Hoya Callistophila is giving. I have to answer this. It's my niece's birthday. Thank you, my dear. Oh, Happy birthday, birthday, my love. Happy birthday. Hi. Hi. You got all of us. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna mute them. So, um, or not mute them. I'm gonna turn the volume down and then I'm gonna talk to them. So anyway, I felt like these leaves were giving very Hoya Callistophila and I love my Hoya Callistophila. I felt like it looked so similar that I didn't really need another one. But then like all of the new leaves on them at the shop were pushing out these leaves. And I'm like, okay, this looks nothing like my Hoya Callistophila. And I feel like the only difference was that she's been growing them in much darker conditions. Like they're not getting as much light. So I think that I'm going to keep this one at the very bottom of my Rudsa and not let it get a ton of light because I love this. Like, whereas on these leaves, the leaf is very green. It's like the same color as my Hoya Callistophila. And then you can see all this dark venation come through, right? 
um, and there is this slight speckling but on this one you can see it has the dark venation but because the leaf is as dark as the the venation it's like invisible and you can just see sort of how sunken in it is and then the speckling on this like the variegation on this it's like this light silvery green and it is just incredible i was like okay sold need this one thank you very much load it up and yeah just so so happy to have this one so i'm hoping that the new leaves that come out on this look more like this rather than like this because although this is beautiful this is this is what i'm sold on so hoya finlay sony i don't sleep on these um i'm going to talk to my family now because like i said it's my niece's birthday she's three today and i just yeah, gotta give her some attention and she's eating right now. So um, I will be right back. Had a little cry. I can't believe my little baby girl is three already. Okay, moving on. So the next one I'm very, very excited about. This one was a wish list alocasia. I don't know if I've ever talked about it on my channel before, but it is an alocasia bisma. I love you. Guys, I have been after this thing for so long. There's another alocasia, I think it's called a alocasia heterophylla or something like that. Something hetero, I think. And it looks very similar to the Bisma, except I think it's more narrow and has like a super pointy, evil looking leaf. But the Bisma is way more attainable in my, from my knowledge. And I knew that Lauren had her personal plant. It's not this one. She was offering me her personal plant. She said to take this one and the other one, but I made an executive decision. I left it where it was because one, I don't need two. Two, I think she would regret it. Three, I don't have space. But I opted to get the smaller one and I, it's just, it's everything that I knew it would be and more. I love this leaf shape. Oh, it's a little dusty. I love this leaf shape. I love the color. It's this very sort of like, what color green, green is this? It's like like a dark sea foam green and then it's got this really sunken in dark um, venation that goes all the way to the edge of the leaf margins. It's got this really, really deep dark sinus. And then on the abaxials, it has this like reddish dark, is it red yeah it's like a dark red um like leaf margin and it just goes around the entire thing it's unreal it looks fake it looks like this looks photoshop look that looks like it's photoshop doesn't look real um and i even really love on the more juvenile leaves how like the sinus doesn't fully develop and it's just like this funny looking bunny ear thing but honestly i just Please, I hope that I can keep this happy. Why is my hand? <laughs> I really hope I can keep this happy because this is one that I've really loved so much. I just never really had it in my budget for when they first started to come out. And yeah, I'm just really glad that I finally got my hands on one. I am hoping that there are some corms in here. I would love, love, love to grow this from corm. But I think what I want to start doing with some of my alocasias is just potting them in one pot so that it looks like really big and bushy. So since this is just one stem, it would be really nice if I could have some corms, grow them, and then pot them in the same pot so that it's like nice and big and full. But yeah, I'm so happy to have this one. Thank you so much, Lauren. It's literally everything. Look at that like matte, pillowy texture of it. Like... It's unreal. It's truly unreal. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, this is the only allocation that I got, but it was, man, it was a great one. Um, this next one I purchased, and this was one of the um, leftover plants from the Tropicals Plant Show, Equiflora Show. And guys, when I tell you I am in love, I am in love. I did not actually know this plant existed. I've never seen one before, I don't think but I saw it in the back of a box and I was like, this is apparently a philodendron esmeraldense aff. What in the hell is this? It is so freaking beautiful. Like, 
it's everything that I love in a philodendron. Like, and it's so dark. It's like hard to capture like the color of it. It's so, so dark. I haven't taken it out. I haven't taken it out of here yet. I need to do it today. Oh my gosh, I'm filming like three videos today because um, I wanted to repot it on camera and just kind of show you what the root system looks like. It's got another new leaf coming. It looks like it's going to be pretty sizable. So I want to get this one on a pole ASAP. This is not one that I'm going to slack on. I want to keep the growth going. Um, I think the stem is long enough to chop if I can chop it because this is one that I would really love to share with um, Alice. I think that she would enjoy this one. So yeah, I I can't express, I actually have not been this excited about an import in a really, really, really long time. I think the last time that I was this excited about a new plant was when I got my Gloriosum, my, uh, it's actually up up there now on top of the oh no it's not it's in my bedroom i yeah since i got like my round form gloriosum white vein whatever it is whatever i don't know it doesn't identify as any kind of gloriosum it's just it is what it wants to be but yeah i have not been that excited since um since then but gosh fingers crossed this one does not take a dump on me because it is a new import it's been sitting in here since last saturday it came in a box it's been it's just it's gone through a lot some stress um i did remove two of the leaves down at the bottom because they were just completely like brown and just shriveled but these look pretty okay kind of hoping that there are some roots that i can work with i can already see this one right here that's going to give me like a good head start as long as it's not rotted like on the part that I can't see but yeah this one is so so exciting and I'm so glad that no one grabbed this at the show there was another one um it was much bigger than this but I'm just trying to be mindful with my space because I do plan on acclimatizing this in my tent so I just knew that I wouldn't be able to fit the larger one in the tent but the one that was left over at the shop the leaf was like this but maybe like it like went up to here. So the leaf was much bigger. And yeah, it was a great specimen. I think that one's gonna sell really fast. So if you're watching this video and Lauren still maybe has that plant at her shop, um, ask her about it. Cause it's, it is everything. It is everything. I think I even like this more than the, I think I even like this more than the Esmeralda Dents. Incredible. Okay, the next few plants that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just record it with my iPhone so that I don't need to like move my camera around. But she had an excess of crystal mag from the greenhouse and she doesn't have enough space. So she literally was like, take them. And I would have taken them all because I don't wanna see any of them suffer or be neglected because she just has so much to do. She has so many plants she needs to care for that came from the greenhouse. Um, but the reality of it is I don't have enough space and I'm not gonna just take them home to watch them die here So yeah, I couldn't grab all of them. I really wanted to though because I love crystal mags It's one of my favorite anthuriums and I did grab four five of them. I think I grabbed five. I thought I grabbed six, but I guess I only grabbed five. So I'm just gonna take my iPhone and just show them to you guys so in this corner, I have four of the crystals. Um, they're just sitting in this little stand thing that I always get questions about. I cut one of my drip trays, um, or my, my uh, what is that? Propagation dome trays to fit it perfectly. So yeah, I was actually originally going to pot them all together in like a rectangular planter and then put them up there but then I think that it would just be such a pain to water. I feel like I would have forgotten about them. And also the idea of trying to repot a plant that has like five, six plants in it just kind of gives me the ick. So yeah, um, I decided to just do this for now. I think eventually I'll get them repotted and um, put them in pots that <laughs> will actually fit in this little thing. But I kind of like them here. It's nice to just sit on the couch and just see a little wall of crystal but um yeah they all look they all look pretty different this one is a brand new leaf it's got the cutest little sinus and it's still a bit floppy it's still hardening off but it looks like it's going to be a good size this one is i think this was the biggest one that i grabbed 
and she did cut off a lot of the leaves so that they were one leaf cuttings so that they could fit in the truck easier, fit in the shop better. So all of these have had their um, leaves chopped off. So they're all just one leaf plants. The last one that I grabbed is also a crystal mag, but this one has very like silvery venation. And it's like almost like bleeding into the leaf. But yeah, just, it is a crystal mag farm in here. Don't mind, it looks like a hot freaking mess in this corner. I was doing stuff last night and uh, didn't finish. Those are the plants. Um, I originally was going to film like a lot more of the shop. I was gonna do like highlights of the shop, new plants that came in and stuff like that. But honestly, there was a lot of pressure to get the shop in um, a shoppable place by the next day. So I ended up just not filming at all really besides what I showed you guys. And I really only filmed some parts of us putting the shop together. I was so tired, I was so sore. We were done by the end of the day. We were like, we're not vlogging. I don't wanna see a camera, we're done. And on Saturday, I just, I was in bed like all day. I didn't do anything. Well, I felt, I edited a little bit, but my body was just aching. I was just mentally and physically drained. So yeah, spent a lot of time in bed, which is why I'm filming this today. But uh, yeah, overall, it was a great time. The shop looks really good. We are going to try and make it sort of a regular thing. Maybe like every month we'll go to the shop and do like little projects and we want to help her get sort of the back area like really neat and tidy because they don't really have time to do that kind of thing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like, you know, the just the things that they have to do in the shop are way more important than just making sure that it looks neat and tidy. But, you know, Alice and I are kind of neurotic that way and um, <laughs> Lauren's like, hey, come over whenever you want. So, um, yeah, hopefully we've got some good stuff coming up at North Shore. Um, I really love filming there. I love showing you guys the plants. If you guys didn't know, I was a visual merchandiser for like 10 years and it was like, it was so much fun. And yeah, I missed it a lot. There's so many things that I loved about that job. I felt like I was really good at it, even though a lot of my bosses didn't like me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a, it was a definitely, it was definitely an interesting experience this time because it was with plants. Whereas before I was only working with clothing in a lot of ways it was a different sort of not learning curve but it was just a lot different than what I was used to in my old career but because I do it like all the time here it felt really natural to me I think just um I always have it in my head that like I merchandise or I style plants the way that I like um and that I feel is good for revenue good for sales um, good for foot traffic, you know, when you're shopping stuff, it kind of all has to make sense. But, uh, you know, Lauren's got her own sort of idea of what she wants her shop to look like. And there's that pressure of like, is she not going to like this? Like, is she going to hate this? So I was a little bit in my head, but I was also kind of in my element too. So just filming just did not, it did not seem appealing to me. I was like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it well. And yeah, I think it turned out great. Hopefully she liked it. If you guys go visit the shop, let me know how you guys like it too. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. This video is now, how long have I been recording for? Oh my gosh, I've been recording for like half an hour. So anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much. If you made it through this three, three and a half hour long video, if you guys watched the whole thing in its entirety, please comment that below so that I can personally thank you. I know that a lot of you guys watch these really long videos in like um, pieces over a few days, which I totally get. And so with that said, because I've filmed a two, almost three hour video last month and now a three hour video this month, um, I am going to be taking at least one Wednesday off. I might even take two Wednesdays off just because the editing part, it's so fun for me, but it really takes everything out of me so i might need to take a little bit of a break but i have some, i have some really good stuff coming up for you guys and i've been prepping a lot for it it's been it's been madness here but yeah anyway thank you for being here thank you for watching thank you for making this series um such a successful one for me thank you guys for almost nine point where are we where are we you guys where are we 
Oh my gosh, we're getting so close to 9.7. Oh, thank you guys for 9.6, whatever we are at. And um, I appreciate all the new subscribers. I appreciate everyone who's been here. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps Pudge and I a lot on YouTube. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and for all your support. So I guess without further ado, I will see you in the next one.